China's most prominent political dissident, Liu Xiaobo, has died at the age of 61. The Nobel laureate was jailed in his homeland for his fight for democracy and human rights and had recently battled liver cancer. China is facing widespread criticism, especially from Western nations, over the way he was treated before and after his release on medical parole last month. Noah Ram has more. Liu Xiaobo is the first Nobel Peace Prize winner to die under guard since the passing of German pacifist Karl von Ossietzky in 1938. The Nobel Committee said the Chinese government bore a heavy responsibility for Liu's premature death. He was awarded the prize in 2010, infuriating China, which tried to censor the news and even boycott the award. Liu supporters and close friends are accusing Beijing for what they call gross negligence and political murder. Western nations expressed their condolences while calling on China to release his wife, Liu Xia, from house arrest and let her leave the country. Local authorities said she was by her husband's side during the last days of his life. The Chinese government refused Liu's dying wish to get cancer treatment abroad despite international pressure, and this also brought widespread condemnation from overseas. But in a statement on Friday, Beijing's foreign ministry hit back by saying its government made, quote, all-out efforts to treat him out of humanity and in accordance with the law. China's state-run Global Times reported that Liu's last days were politicized by overseas forces. He was jailed several times throughout his life, the first being for playing a significant role in the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests, which ended in a bloody massacre by Chinese troops. His most recent conviction came in 2009 when he was slapped with an 11-year prison term for subversion after he co-wrote the Charter 08 Manifesto, which called for political reform. Liu Xiaobo will be remembered by many across the globe as one of China's most influential democracy activists and intellectuals. Noaram, Arirang News.